Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nintendo Lee, a Nintendo podcast by me, Lee. And uh, just like usual, we're gonna start about talk about what I've been playing first. Uh, I played some more Xenoblade Two. Uh, I haven't chaptered up or anything. Uh, spoiler alert: I guess if you haven't played it yet and you want to play it, just block out the next. 30 seconds I guess uh, I just got to the part where I made the boat and I'm riding the titan we saw the I guess it's another titan it was a dragon Pyra knew who it was so we'll see spoiler ended I'm not going to go anymore because I don't want to talk about it too much I know it's what getting to be two years old now but still a lot of people haven't played it yet so I want to kind of respect that but uh it's just it's hard to play xenoblade 2 because this is a game i want to sit down and i just want to you know sink some time into and just lose myself and just you know get into the world and know everything but i ain't got a lot of time for all that and there's some other game like the witcher 3 comes out in october so that's a big game i have to be a xenoblade by witcher 3 or xenoblade's wasn't put on the shelf <laughs> <laughs> Sad to say. Oh, I didn't Link's Awakening. September is crazy. We ain't, And then October's getting crazy. We ain't talking about that. But, okay, on to the news. Which leads to be... Whoa. Uh, lost my words there for a second. But, uh, leads me to believe that October is going to be the new September soon. Because September's crazy. We'll start with Overwatch. Overwatch apparently comes to the Switch. It got leaked by Amazon. I uh, probably got the... Uh, accessory case they got leaked probably showing up right now and whew, I hope so man well not even hope so it's got to be guaranteed now because Amazon leaked it and once people noticed it they took it down real quick uh, the rumor is that it will be announced I guess maybe it might be the September direct or maybe even uh What's Blizzard's BlizzCon? Maybe we'll see. Uh, but the rumor also is that it's coming out in October, like the end of October. <sighs> October's becoming new September because October already has got it's got Digimon, it's got The Witcher Three, it's got Overwatch, and I'm pretty sure something some other stuff I'm missing. But those are the main ones that's on my mind right now. Oh, Luigi's Mansion Three. Oh my, see, it's crazy already. But uh, also with those leaks and rumors, the rumor is it's coming in October. Another rumor is that Tracer will be in Smash. And I would like it. I would like to see Tracer in Smash or an Overwatch character in Smash would be cool. Uh, do I believe it? I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm halfway where it's possible. I can see it. It's happening. Maybe. Then also, uh, no, nah, it's not. It's not. Who knows? Apparently, there's a tweet going out on Twitter, making the rounds. I guess the kids say that uh, the next character will be a female character, and everybody automatically went to Tracer. So we'll see. Interested? We'll love to see who the next character is. I'm gonna be hyped probably either way. But anyway, on to the next news segment. Mega Man Zero Collection has been confirmed. It was originally like leaked on the PS4 store. Someone like you know made a big Twitter uh, tweet about it, and it went kind of blew up a little bit. This is pretty great. I played I played one of the Zero ZX games. I'm pretty sure on uh, the Game Boy Advance a long time ago. Fantastic. Uh, if you haven't played them, I do remember. Great boss fights, Mega Man X style gameplay, which to me, Mega Man X is the best of the ones, you know. If you compare regular Mega Man to Mega Man X, it's Mega Man X. If you count Legends, Legends probably right below X. But it is coming, and it is coming January 21st, 2020. And it has all the Zero and ZX games, and I think a ZXA advent. Uh, I think it was a DS game, if I'm not mistaken. But sync, whoa, 
I ain't losing my words all day today. What's going on? Speaking of collections, Disney's coming back with a lion. Oh my goodness. Aladdin <laughs> and Lion King bundle. It has the SNES versions of the games. Actually, I think it's the SNES version of just Lion King. No Aladdin for some reason. And the Genesis version of both and the Game Boy versions of both. Which is cool, but I don't know why I let it don't have the SNES game version. We'll find out. Who knows? Uh, I've never really played those two. I know they're kind of like known for being difficult, so I'm interested. We'll see. I do like the Lion King and the Aladdin, so. But this gives me hope that they're bringing back older games and whatnot, because I did play Darkwing Duck on the SNES, so let's get that going. You know what I mean? Uh, put that in the loop, Disney. You know? And now, as you listen to this podcast before, the last news of the day is I'm pretty into mobile games. Play quite a bit. Dragalia Law is probably my favorite. Quite a bit of Pokemon Go. Dr. Mario is way up there, too. I like Dr. Mario a lot. But now, next month, September 25th, Mario Kart Tour is finally coming out. I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to just, just to see what it's all about. I remember there was a beta, and the beta people didn't really like it because the gotcha was like the gotcha mechanics were like really there, and it was too noticeable. And people felt like they had to put money into it to get anywhere or to play as much as they would like to. Maybe they fixed that. I'm hoping so. Uh, I don't know. Gotcha mechanics don't really bother me too much. Like Dr. Mario, you get five hearts. I use my five hearts. I wait get my notification you go you know what I'm back let's do it I don't have a problem with it honestly me but uh oh speaking of uh mobile games Pokemon Masters comes out tonight that might be I might record that for the next discussion video that's not the podcast video I might do that I got some Dragaria Laws to get into because I'm trying to up my team my team I suck <laughs> I, I fail a lot of missions, but anyway, uh, I'm hyped for this Mario Kart. Can't wait. Hopefully, Overwatch does come to the Switch. Maybe next Direct. Can't wait for this next Direct. It's about to be hype. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Peace.